Hello everybody, this is Supriya. Welcome to my home kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make the mini black forest cake, which is going to serve for two to four person. This is very yummy, delicious, and amazing cake. This is my favorite cake. I'm going to show you my way of making this cake. I hope you will like it. If you really like my video, do comment and don't forget to subscribe my channel for the latest uploaded videos. So let's see all the ingredients and start making it. First of all, take one egg in a bowl at the room temperature and break it. Now add 4 tablespoon of fine sugar or granulated sugar. Mix it well with the spoon. Now add 4 tablespoon of melted unsalted butter and beat it nicely for 3 to 4 minutes until everything mixed well. Here it's done. Now add 4 tablespoon of all-purpose flour or maida. Sift it well. Add 3 tablespoon of cocoa powder. 1 teaspoon of baking powder. 1 third teaspoon of salt. Half teaspoon of coffee powder. And sift everything well. Now with the help of spatula mix everything well. Use the cut and fold method to mix it nicely. Now add 3 tablespoon of milk and 2 tablespoon of melted dark chocolate. You can take any chocolate. And here you can see the pouring consistency of the batter. Mix the batter nicely. Always use cut and fold method to mix it well. And this batter is ready to go in the baking tin. Here I have taken the small baking tin. Grease it with a little bit of oil. And dust with little bit of all-purpose flour. Now pour the batter into the baking tin. Now shake and tap it little and preheat the oven at 350 degree Fahrenheit and bake it for 25 to 30 minutes. And here after 25 to 30 minutes our cake is ready. It's very hot let it cool for 15 minutes. This is really looking great. And now we will check the cake. Press it gently on the top of the cake. If it's come back like a spring, that means it is perfectly baked. As you can see, it is coming back like a spring. And the second way is to check. Insert the clean knife into the cake. And if it comes out clean, that means it is perfectly baked as you can see. Now I will remove the cake from the baking tin. As you can see the cake is already fluffy, soft. So I will press it gently from all the sides of the corner. You can also use the knife to take it out. And here I will press it gently on the top and will use knife to take it out. And here it's come out. 
wow this is so soft light spongy as you can see now i will remove the hard crust from the top of the cake use the knife slightly to cut the hard layer of the top of the cake you just need to trim it well Now it's time to spread some cherry syrup on the top of the cake to make it juicy and soft. Use 2 to 3 tablespoon of cherry syrup to spread all over the cake. I'm using ready-made cherry syrup which I have bought from the store. Now it's time to make frosting. I'll take 1 cup of heavy milk. And I will add one third cup of powdered sugar into the cream and mix it well with the spoon. And now beat it nicely until it becomes fluffy, soft and thick. It will take 5 to 7 minutes. And here you can see. This has become so soft, fluffy and thick. Now spread this cream on the top of the cake. I will use lots of lots of cream to cover all the cake from all over the sides. Spread it evenly from all over the sides. Here you can see you need to cover the cake with the cream. Do it gently and nicely. And once this is done, clean the plate from all the sides, remove the extra cream from the plate. Here you can see the cake is fully covered with the cream from all the sides. Now I will grate some dark chocolate on the top of the cake to make the chocolate layer. I am using the grater here. You can also peel the chocolate and spread it evenly from all the sides of the cake on the top of the sides. Here I am also spreading some chocolates. I am just throwing the chocolate on the sides of the cake. Here you can see 
the cake is nicely covered with the chocolate and cream and now it's time to decorate our cake Here you can see I am decorating the cake by making the flowers on the top of the cake. I am using uh, the Ziploc to decorating it. I have put some cream into the Ziploc and made like a cone. You can also use piping bags. Decorating the cake is totally up to you how you want to decorate it. You want to make flowers or you want to write some text. Now I will put some cherry on the top of the cake to decorate it. And here the yummy delicious mini black forest cake is ready. Thank you for watching my video. If you really like my video. Do subscribe my channel and don't forget to comment and share.